Good evening everyone, meteorologist Ted Keller here. We had a snow update last night, 24 hours later, everything is about on track. Uh, the snow totals, which everybody wants to talk about, and we will, still a little bit uh, maybe shaky in some areas, some disagreement, but generally speaking, this storm is behaving in itself in terms of track and general feel. Let's start off tonight by looking at a water vapor loop. This is sort of like a satellite image. It does show clouds. It also shows dry air. And because it has that ability to do that, it's also an excellent tool for looking at swirls in the atmosphere. If you watched last night's video, you remember this storm in the upper atmosphere was over uh, southern Nevada. Now, as you can see on the latest loop here, it's tucked away there in extreme southwest New Mexico, rounding the bend, strengthening, coming out into the Great Plains, producing snow on its northern end, severe weather in the deep south, uh, both of those tomorrow. In fact, tornado potential around Houston tomorrow afternoon, Texas, and um, also into Louisiana later tomorrow and during the evening. Um, but um, also for us, the snow. So what's involved in this? Well, there's a couple of factors going on here. There are two parts to most snowstorms, especially lows that travel south of the Ozarks, like this one's going to do. Um, there is the warm part, and this is the graph I have showing you here, the computer model output for about 6 o'clock tomorrow. So what it shows, and the arrow kind of indicates, you can almost see how the moisture is flowing up and around this developing storm. It's rain where it's green, and it's where it's blue, it's snow. You can see maybe some terrain effects there in northern Arkansas, northwest Arkansas. Um, and then there's also rain on the edge of this. So this first sort of surge of precipitation, I think is really gonna kind of determine what our snow total ends up being here in Springfield, because if it stays rain longer, one model suggests we'll be warmer for a while that would make it rain for a longer period of time. The other one changes us to snow right away. And then there's the, the timing's about the same on all this, you know, around dinner time tomorrow and later. And uh, so that's one factor. Then if I show you the map uh, for just 12 hours later, uh, you can see we're on the cold side as indicated by that white oval. So that's just pure snow. And so that's when the second accumulation of snow will occur. And it might be the more meaningful one or it might not be. It's really kind of hard sometimes to pin these things down, believe it or not, give us another you know, 24 hours and we'll be able to tell you a little bit more about it. Another thing is, let's take a look at this. Uh, you know, when you talk about snow, you often have to talk about not just the surface temperature. In fact, they can snow above freezing. You need to look at the depth of the layer, but also with snow, you need to look at whether the air is saturated like this computer model shows for tomorrow evening, or are there dry pockets like this model shows, which is also a little bit warmer, at least initially. So these are all the factors that go into determining when snow will start, transition, when it will start accumulating, and uh, just some of the things we look at just for your you know, store it away wherever you want to store that information. But what did the computer model say about snow totals? Well, let's just go down through the list. I have four now. We're closer to the event, so I've got a few more models I can look at as, as opposed to um, the two we looked at last night. And let's just go down from lowest to highest. So the lowest one is, uh, is a high resolution model. We run 24 hours, now 48 hours out, 24 hours out. 3.7 inches in Springfield. Next one up is the Euro model, run out of Europe, not surprisingly, 4.1. The GFS is a American long range model, 5.2. And finally, the NAM, which is an American sort of medium range model, 7.2 inches. So there's your spread, so to speak, if you're a gambling person. I'm putting it at about four here in Springfield because I've learned over the years, I have to come up with a number for Springfield, right? But now, keep in mind, that's at the airport. Uh, I think the grading of snow will increase as you go south. So you go down to Ozark, Christian County area, Nixa, um, you could easily see more. And in fact, if you saw all those maps, you saw that the main emphasis for the snow band, the, the highest total center was south of Springfield. And to bolster that, here's the latest watch and warning and advisory uh, map. So winter storm warning in effect, the heaviest snow expected in the center of that with winter weather advisories on either side. And this is all starting late tomorrow afternoon and going through Wednesday morning. It ought to be fun. Decisions made for what'll happen on Wednesday morning may have to wait till the wee hours or even the early hours of Wednesday to see what happens because it is gonna time out uh, rather interestingly for rush hour on Wednesday. Have a good night. I'll bring you another update tomorrow.